Okay, in order to uh, get a uh, hosting account up and running, um, <coughs> along with a little bit of e-commerce, uh, first we're going to go through the domain portion of things. After you already buy your domain, uh, you should be able to log into your account. I'm logged in here on my account, and uh, what I want to do is mouse over domains and go over to domain management. Once I'm in uh, domain management, I can look at my domains here <coughs> and see uh, basically what's set up where. Um, the main part I have to focus on is th this name server portion of things. Uh, and I'll show you how to update that. Say, for instance, uh, one domain that's not already pointed uh, would be say this one white sock uh, right here so say if I need to point that to my HostGator uh, hosting control panel which I'll show you how to, to get as well as you click on the domain name and once you're in that domain name you'll come down here and click set uh, name servers And you'll receive uh, an email from HostGator when you set up your hosting account that basically shows you what the name servers should be. So I had a copy of my name servers on here, so I'm just going to highlight this. And a lot of times when you first set up the domain name, it's going to allow you to uh, put these in. Oops copy and paste into uh, a different set of fields, a field that's kind of like divided where you'll have the first part of the domain name and then the second and then the third but um, for right now I'll just show you how to do it going this way so I'm going to click OK and our changes have been submitted and normally this can take up to 24 to 72 hours for it to propagate, um, meaning be spread around the web so that when people type in the domain name, <laughs> it shows up in their browser. Um, if I go ahead and refresh this page, you might already see the change here, but that doesn't mean it's changed throughout the web. Yeah, it's saying there's no name servers right now. That's because it's currently updating. Um, so it should uh, change shortly. I'm just going to go back to my domains. And on my domain list, I should see it's updating or something like that. When do I saw get pending update? So soon this will change to active and it will have the same uh, HostGator um, name servers. And that's basically what you need to do on the domain side. Now, next video, I'll show you. Uh, how to set the domain up in the HostGator control panel.